hello I know it's late but I'm trying to get this one in technically on time I'm trying to keep my schedule and uh, been dragging today um, I have a vending event coming up this weekend and it's always a lot of work doing the vending and um, my back is shot so we'll see how it's gonna go uh, body's going the body's breaking down so like I like to say it won't be long now but until then let's push out this material um, I've been saying people are insane I say it in a lot of my videos and I think you all mean that what I'm saying is you know I'm using it in a you know slang kind of way but I mean people are clinically insane out of their minds and a lot of the way this society functions and is maintained and was put together was not based on any kind of sanity even the founding fathers knew it if you read their writings um, so we're gonna deal with the psych uh, psychodynamic diagnostic manual and uh, deal with some of this here and when you study psychology it's really the best thing to study take a class if you're doing a course if you don't like school just take one class if, if you have a community college or something in your neighborhood or actually you could just go on YouTube and take a psychology class from like the biggest universities for free if you want to do that I have psychology courses that I teach on uh, my site uh, I know I'm supposed to plug my own site, but I just want you to be sane. Um, I have basic concepts, a psych course. If you go to my Patreon, you can also see um, I did one about multiple intelligences. I did one on the defense mechanisms. So I have three courses, psych courses. I'm going to offer them in my store too. Um, we're getting there. I'm putting more and more things in my store. I have to put some in there after I finish this reading but let's get into it personality patterns and disorders P axis uh, yeah this is where I wanted to start the talk usefully about disorders of personality we we must first address the concept of personality itself personality is what one is rather than what one has oh man already <laughs> where we're in it that didn't read it it certainly comp com comprises more than one can see by scrutinizing a person's behavior irrespective of the sp specific problems that bring them to treatment many patients as they participate in therapy come to realize that what they are trying to change is tied up with who they are they need the therapist to comprehend something psychologically systemic about them that helps them understand why they are repeatedly vulnerable to certain kinds of suffering and difficulty or difficulty psychological problems are often complexly intertwined with personality issues maybe the flip side of someone's strong points and need to be appreciated in the context of the whole person and that person's culture. Again, I forgot the volume. Oh man, that's really low. Y'all probably didn't hear anything I say on the video. Okay, now we cooking, now we got it going. A strength of the psychoanalytic tradition is its long-standing scholarly attention to the question of personality and its structure. Understanding individual people and their development can be more important to treating them than understanding specific disorders or mastering specific techniques. Consequently, when psychodynamic therapists conduct a clinical interview, they try first to get a feel for the patient's personality, then to evaluate the person's strengths weaknesses and overall functioning and only then try to understand his or her symptoms 
in that context. In outcome studies, investigators are starting to pay adequate attention to the importance of differentiating among patients when evaluating treatments. An emphasis that has been historically critical to clinicians, but notably absent from much prior clinical research. Okay, so you get a baseline. You need to understand people's history. You need to understand um, fundamentally where people are. Not where they believe they are. Not where they seem to be from. Because a lot of people can dress up um, pathology and make it look like it's not there. Cover it. For purposes of this classification, we are defining personality as relatively stable ways of thinking, feeling, behaving, and relating to others. In this context, thinking encompasses not only one's belief systems and ways of making sense of self and others, but also one's moral values and ideals. Ways of making sense of self and others. This is, this is, this is, this is important stuff. Um, I mean, a lot of us don't have a lot of morals these days anyway it's all about getting paid man Wu-Tang really was right when they said cream cash rules everything around that's one of the greatest songs ever made each of us has a set of individual assumptions by which we try to understand our experience a set of values and characteristic ways of pursuing what we see as valuable a personal repertoire of familiar emotions and typical ways of handling them and some characteristic patterns of behavior especially in our personal relationships some of these processes are conscious and some are unconscious or automatic or in the parlance of cognitive neuroscience implicit you always hear them talk about implicit bias uh, the ways in which we habitually try to accommodate to the exig exigencies of life and to reduce anxiety, grief, and threats to self-esteem are important aspects of personality. People differ in the ways they adapt to circumstance and defend against threat. And they differ in their abilities to integrate these special efforts seamlessly into the conduct of everyday behavior so that the special efforts do not show as such. Depending on their cultural surround and a myriad of other factors, some patterns will be more adaptive than others. When our particular habitual ways of thinking, feeling, acting, and being with others contribute to our living, satisfying lives, enjoying mutually satisfying relationships, and pursuing socially useful goals, there is no problem if they repeatedly cause pain to ourselves or to others, or become preoccupying or con conspicuous. They may constitute a personality disorder. At the healthy end of the spectrum of personality, at least as it has been construed by theorists in Western cultures, are people who can engage in Satisfying relationships can experience a relatively full range of age expected feelings and thoughts can focus relatively flexibly when stressed by external forces or internal conflict, have a clear sense of personal identity or well adapted to their life circumstances and neither experience significant distress nor impose it on others. And it's important that they say Western because there's different ways. I have videos here, the psychology uh, bedtime book, bedside book, that's a good one. Look at some of those videos. By flexibility, we mean that they can look at a problem from several different angles and adopt one of the several possible ways of coping with it. At the more disturbed end are people who respond to stress in rigidly inflexible ways by relying on only one or two coping strategies. For example, irrespective of the situation, 
and or who have marked deficits in sense of identity, relations with others, reality testing, adaptation to stress, moral functioning or effective range, recognition, expression, and regulation. You don't have a truth. There's one truth and one reality. We experience that truth in different ways. So when you say, oh, I'm going to tell my truth and I have my own truth. No, you don't have your own truth. And if you believe that you have your own truth, you're insane. There's one truth. We all can see it or experience it from different angles. And what you want to try to do is experience from as many angles as you can. None of us are going to see it from every single angle. But if you study enough and you get conceptual enough, you'll get most of the angles. And if somebody tells you an angle you didn't see, it'll be easy for you to say, oh, yeah, I, okay, I can see that. Oh, man, that's good. That's another angle. And you add it. Um, it's so important because you, you hear that phrase so much. I already know when I hear somebody say that, all right, they're insane. I don't have a truth. There is a truth. And I have to experience it. There are There is a reality and I experience it. And I experience it based on what it is and how it's functioning in my society. But my society and all the institutions and systems in it are insane. The reality and the truth is going to be insanity. Now, sanity can still exist because concepts don't die. Right? Concepts are going to stop here concepts don't die right but um they can be dormant so justice doesn't go away just because injustice is happening everywhere it's just that people are not tapping into it or not enough people are tapping into it or not enough people are making it the core of the social orders Right now, we're in flux. We're in transition. We're in a great reset where we can actually bring forth the justice, but we're so gun shy about, um, and this is a violent society, so we're gun shy. We're gun shy about being justice because all the justice people get killed, get assassinated. But what we don't realize is you can do justice every day, every every time you walk out the door, everywhere you are. Just do it. And then other people will do it, and then we'll do it, and then we can do it in our neighborhoods, and then it spreads out. That's the way it's done. Right? And while you're trying to do it, you have to force all the old systems and all the re to give you the resources that they stole and push it back toward your justice. So um, what that looks like sometimes is grants. I'm getting ready to write some proposals for grants now. Um, I have two ideas. I don't want you to tell. I, mean, I want you to steal them. But um, I have two grant ideas. And I'm getting ready to write some proposals for it. I've been trying to do that. But again, dealing with insanity of my landlords and things like that. Um, and the four thousand dollar error that they made. Uh, I've been dealing with that, and trying to get someone to just simply fix it. Just simply fix it. I have all the proof. I laid it out for them. Did all the work. Just need somebody to simply fix it. So, um, this is what I deal with, and I'm sure you're dealing with it too if you're listening to this, because. Again, insanity is rampant in this society. So we're going to pick up next time with this reading. I think I'm going to be in this book for a little while. So um, we're going to we're going to have to because it's, it's a lot of madness going on. A lot of it. And I just want to offer the content. Offer you the chance and the ability to be able to work through some of it, some of the help and some of the tools. You can hit the links. You can give directly. You know how to support me if you want to support um, or become a sponsor. 
until then, please be safe um, and take care of yourself. Oh, 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 oh.